So, the Fed just cut rates. It's been about two and a half years since the Fed started to hike those rates in early 2022. Since then, we've seen a lot of changes to the real estate industry. We've seen fewer homes for sale and fewer buyers willing and able to purchase those homes available. We've also seen a lot of other changes to the real estate industry, such as additions to buyer agency agreements, a redistribution of population across the country, and just more people looking towards real estate investing for generational wealth. In short, affordability has been challenging. So what do these changes mean for real estate investing? While we don't hold a crystal ball that can tell us the future and how the market's going to operate, you can likely sum up the changes into one theme, and that's a general shift in investor optimism. While some have battled through this challenging rate environment and continue to succeed, others waited for rates to flatline in order to act. Now that the Fed has officially cut rates, you can inspect all investors' eyes to be on the market. What changes will this optimism have on the market? Don't be surprised with more investors on the prowl for homes to sell faster and for more. We also anticipate sellers to finally make that move that they've been putting off in fear of losing their low rate. We also anticipate more first-time home buyers finally making that leap into home ownership. Not to say that we haven't already been in a competitive environment, but expect things to really start heating up. Make sure to work with your realtor to put together a solid game plan on how to win more offers. Three things that I'm going to be working with to help my clients win are escalation clauses, appraisal gap coverage, and occasionally asking them to cover my compensation rather than the seller. All three of these things, if used wisely, can definitely make your offer look a lot more competitive. And remember, no matter what type of market conditions you're operating with, making sure that you have a team that's going to set you up for success is the best way to mitigate risk.